Hello. Well, today's story is called A Very Corona Christmas. Santa stays at home. All the elves were gathered in the main lodge at the North Pole village, awaiting Santa's big announcement. What could it be? said Evan, the youngest of the elves. I don't know, said Liam, Evan's older brother. But Santa has stopped all production in the workshop today. What do you mean, stop production? asked Evan, concerned. It means that we are not making any more toys. We have never stopped production before. Liam's sentence was interrupted by a loud commotion at the door. Santa entered the workshop and looked surprisingly glum. Elves, 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 quiet, please. He reached into his red jacket and pulled out a pile of very official looking letters. Sander tugged at his long white beard, opened a letter, paused and began to read. Dear Santa, I am writing to inform you that you will not be allowed to enter my country this Christmas. We are currently not admitting any foreigners in order to reduce the amount of coronavirus transmissions. Please use our postal system to deliver the gifts as it is the fastest and the best in the entire world. Sincerely, the President of the United States. Followed by another letter. Dear Santa, unfortunately this year, due to the current coronavirus pandemic, we must ask you to follow the following rules. Number one, you are not allowed to enter any house by way of doors or chimneys. Two, please always keep a distance of two meters for any from any parent or child. Number three, all gifts you will need will need to be quarantined for at least 48 hours before delivery. Keep calm, carry on. Your Majesty, Elizabeth, the Queen of England. And another letter, and another letter. The elves looked at each other in disbelief. What are we going to do now? Said Evan quietly to his brother, looking for any ray of hope. I don't know, said Liam. It looks like Christmas is cancelled. Santa folded the letters and put them back in his pocket. Then, after a long sigh, he continued speaking. This is the first for us all at the North Pole. This pandemic has put us in a very bad predicament. We are lucky here at the North Pole to be so isolated that we do not even have one case of the coronavirus. However, if I travel around the world delivering our presents to all the boys and girls, <clears throat> I could catch the virus and that would be risky for us all. Santa sighed and looked warily at the elves. Therefore, it is with a sad and heavy heart that I announce to you today, Santa paused, <clears throat> unsure if he, was really, if he really wanted to continue, and then reluctantly stated, there will be no Christmas this year. <clears throat> the elves glazed at each other in disbelief. No Christmas, no Christmas. They all shouted you know, uh, simultaneously. This is going to be the worst Christmas ever. This is an absolute catastrophe, said another. The elves began to talk amongst themselves while taking in Santa's words. None of them knew what to do. They had never been out of work before. One by one, they sorrowfully left the lodge and returned home. Liam and Evan went back to their elf hut to think. Evan sat down at his desk. It was piled high with letters from little boys and girls from all over the world <clears throat> who had sent their wishes to Santa. He pushed the letters to one side. No need for these, he thought, and felt about as sad as he has ever felt. I'll make a cup of tea, shall I? said his brother. <clears throat> and other than a few chores around the house, Liam, Evan and the rest of the elves had nothing to make and nothing to do. For the next few days they just sat around feeling hopeless. They yearned for their life, how, how it used to be. They missed the way things used to be. 
They miss Christmas and everything it used to be. They didn't change much until one day a letter on Evan's desk caught his eye. He opened it up and began to read. He began reading letter after letter. He read one what all the children had written and his eyes filled with tears. All around the world, children were all saying the same thing. They, too, missed the way things used to be. Suddenly, Evan jumped up from his table. He pushed a few of the letters into his pockets, pulled on his elf boots and ran out the door. Liam grabbed his coat and ran after him. Evan, he called, catching up with him. Evan, what are you doing? I'm going to find, I'm going to find Santa Claus and save Christmas, he said. <clears throat> Evan continued running until he arrived at Santa's front door. He pounded on the door as loudly as he could. Santa opened the door, dressed in red tracksuit bottoms and wearing a festive apron. Santa, Santa, I need to talk to you, Evan demanded, barging into Santa's kitchen. Calm down, little elf, said Santa. I had just learned how to make shortbread cake. What would you would you would you like to try some? Evan looked strangely at Santa, closed the door behind him, and put his hands on his hips. This is no time to begin to learn how to cake. I'm sorry, Evan, but as you heard, Christmas has cancelled this year, said Santa. Then he pulled a piece of bread from the lo from the cake and popped it into his mouth. I can't go out. I can't even leave the North Pole. I must shelter in this place. Evan pulled out a letter from his pocket and handed it to Santa. The children of the world, they need you, Santa. Santa read the letter peered down at Evan and began to grin. Evan and Liam go around and collect the other elves. There is something I need to say. When all the elves were gathered again in the main lodge, Santa began to speak. <clears throat> My dear elves, Evan, our youngest elf, has shown me a letter which has reminded me of why we are all here. It said, Dear Santa, my name is Olivia. I am seven years old and I live in Wandsworth in London. This year has been very difficult for my family. I was unable to see my friends for a long time and my dad lost his job. He said we don't have any money for presents this year and we are not able to celebrate Christmas. I told my dad that Santa would never cancel Christmas. He wouldn't cancel Santa, would you? After everything that has happened this year, my gift from you is the one thing that I know I can count on. You are the best, Santa. I love you, Olivia. My dear elves, Olivia is right. Families all over the world have had their lives turned upside down. Children everywhere need this Christmas more than ever before. Santa's eyes began to twinkle again. He straightened his hat and continued. We have a duty to these boys and girls of the world. Children deserve Christmas. Then he pushed up his sleeves and continued. Elves, it is time to get busy. Bob, get the production line going again. Shannon, start shining my sleigh. Sally and Tom, I need a Santa suit that can bring me into the homes of millions of children, but safely. You're my smartest elves. It is time to get to work. The elves were elated and ran as fast as they could to the workshop. Santa contacted all of the world leaders and told them of his plan. The elves were given access to the latest technology science had to offer. They worked and polished and built and painted. This year, Christmas was going to be historic. By Christmas Eve, everything was ready. As the snow began to fall, Santa stepped out of his lodge in a brand new Santa suit. He looked a little different this year, but he was now safe and ready to go. It was time for Christmas and nothing was going to stop him from making children happy this year, not even coronavirus. As Santa flew off in his sleigh, he could be heard saying, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas.
to you all. The End